Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another player review. So today we'll be reviewing 87 rated third in form Kolarov. Now this card looks absolutely insane. Like, I mean, when it comes to defensive side of things, brilliant. When it comes to pace, you know, that has some work. He's very close to 80 in every stat. Just for the sake of this card, we will be playing him as a centre-back. So in-game, I'm going to switch Thiago Carlos and him around, play him at right centre-back, and throw Marcelo in off the bench. Um, and if you guys are watching this, trying to find an Italian league left-back, I do not recommend Kolarov, um, just simply because he is he's just a centre-back card. If you look at his stats, you're, the first thing that comes to mind is centre-back. Great defending, good physical, and I mean... I definitely just do not buy him if you want him as a left back um, because left backs in this game if you guys don't know you need high agility high balance this is exactly what Kolarov doesn't have um, his top four worst stats and agility and balance is two of them basically agility and balance is how smooth they feel on the ball or how quickly they turn around so with a left back ideally if an opponent attack if an opposition attacker gets past you you want to have good balance so you can quickly turn around chase them and i mean with center backs like say desai is a good example he has horrible agility and horrible balance when someone passes him and he's looking forward it will take him he'll feel so clunky just turn around so do not play this dude as a fullback. So if I have a look at Aaron's fullback, insane balance, insane agility. So he can easily, if he does get caught out, he can easily just get back. Marcelo as well, 85 agility, 86 balance, not bad at all. Um, and I mean, the majority of Kolarov's stats are brilliant for a centre-back. So I will be playing him centre-back in this video. But anyway guys, we're going to get into his attribute details, but before we do that, if you are new and you do want to help support the channel, it would be much appreciated if you do decide to drop a like, and maybe even subscribe. Um, now getting into this dude's stats, I'm going to say his key stats is 94 free kick accuracy, 91 curve with 96 crossing. Um, if you guys do win a free kick, just use this dude. And as stupid as this may sound, if your whole team is trash with free kicks, and it's like, say, the last minute or something. You just sub Kolarov on, get him to take the free kick, and then sub him off again. I mean, the highest, my, my current free kick taker is Seedorf. And he's only got 79 free kick accuracy, but once he has insane shot power and, like, great curve, or, or average curve, like, this is my best free kick taker, and I don't have much options. So, honestly, it's so hard to have high free kicks in this game. And not only that, but 99 shot power is insane. With 92 long shots. Now, 6 foot 2 with high medium work rates, which is brilliant. Left foot, it doesn't really matter. It really just depends what you're used to. Free start, free start, not bad at all. Of course, height's not a big, big, big problem this year. Um, but it will help out the dude's strength. He goes from 78 strength, I was going to say from 78 to 83 strength. But we still have not chosen... The correct chem style. 91 aggression is brilliant and he's got some amazing defending stats like 89 stand tackle, 86 slide tackle. This dude looks phenomenal as a center back. Now when it comes to chemistry style, personally this is just me. You guys can put whatever chem style you want on this card. Whether you want a shadow, whether you just want to go all out, I am going to actually put... I'm gonna... okay. So, with a centre back, you the more pace and area. Lots of people will go all out and chuck a shadow on him. And this will make his pace insane, as well as his defending. Maybe an anchor if you want to spend money wisely. But this is an untradeable shadow card. And no better way to put it on Kolarov for this video. So, he will be going up for some great stuff here. Okay, here we go. He goes up to around 90 pace. 90 pace is crazy, and his defending will go up to 90, mid-90s. But we are going to hop into a game, guys. I will show in-game me moving this card to centre-back position. And uh, if you guys are new, I, I said it before, but drop a like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Right, we have found a match here, and this is a good team, you know. This is a good team. He's got that winter refresh. No clue how to pronounce his name, but the Ar Argentinian right wing. Not bad at all. That's a good team, you know. Okay, this is actually a decent team. It's like a pretty meta team, other than... 
I don't know, his striker on 7 chem, we are away, so we're probably going to have shit internet. Whenever I play away, for some reason my internet's just trash, but uh, let's give it a go. I'm going to chuck a pause queue in here. And here we go. We are going to move Kolarov into the right centre back position. Sub Diego Carlos off for Marcelo. This is how we do line up. He goes up to 90 pace, 96 defending. I'm ridiculously excited to get into this, and uh, yeah. Alright, Kolarov, we're just going to do a ball roll. Um, where he hasn't moved into position yet, he should do very soon. As soon as the ball goes out, he will move into position. So, or just when the next play starts. Maybe right now he's moving into No, he's not. Okay, he should be moving into centre back position soon. Of course, you can do that with your uh, custom tactics, but just for the sake of my custom tactics, I decided I'll just do it the long way. Looks promising, Mace. Wow, one 0 down already, man. Wow. Okay, we're going second. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Colorado vets, nice here from him. Correa, Victor Ozimhen. That's nice from Colorado there. He's running back 78 pace. Well, sorry, 90 pace. Coming in clutch here. We're gonna do a roulette and play that down. Most tremendous ball played through. It might be. Wow. 2-0 down. This is ridiculously slow gameplay. Timo Werner. Sanchez. A glorious chance. The well, last gasp. Of... It's got to be. That's one back. That's one back. Still difficult circumstances. Kolarov. Nice pass under pressure. We're going to give that back to Kolarov. So it's a sticky position, but we do get it away. Absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back. A highly purposeful attack, this. Kolarov with a double tackle there. Can he get back to what he does? 90 pace, man. Insane. Right. That is half time. We are 2-1 down, but defensively, we are getting tested a lot. So even if we do lose, we've got more possession, just one shot on target. So even if we do lose, I'm not going to be too mad. I mean... We did get unlucky off the bat with slow gameplay. The first goal, the second goal, I I probably over exaggerated. Um, he did do he he did get a good second goal, but now I mean Kolarov is playing brilliant right now. He is helping me. I mean, it would probably be two goals down. I mean, yeah, two goals down. It'd be three one down if Kolarov wasn't here or Kolarov didn't do what he did. Right now he's performing brilliant. Keep the ball and a chance to level it. Two nil. What a goal. What a goal. And that's an important... And he's broken free! Let's go, man. Let's go. Okay. Why is it not let me skip? All right. All right. Free two. The comeback, brother. Can we keep it? Even if we get a draw, you know, I wouldn't even be mad. Like, oh, wow. That's a horrible pass. But, uh, see if we can keep the lead. That's a great inception. Nice from Kolarov, man. Magnificently and intercepted. Kolarov, man. Let's go. The ball in an attacking position, but they've Let's go. I've probably been. I was breathing very loudly there because I really wanted to hold this win off. We do it, lads. Two, three, two win from two nil down. I am ridiculously happy with how I performed. Wow, it was my heart beating. Now, Kolarov, he was incredible. He's an incredible man. Three out of four tackles won. He's incredible. 19 out of 20 passes completed. 10 out of 10 dribbles completed. He's insane. I mean, honestly, guys, I I really do this. Kolarov didn't mess up once for me, and I never ever give the high the highest rated possible. Basically, if you guys don't know, I give a card a rating out of 10. And today, guys, I'm definitely gonna give Kolarov a 10 out of 10. He performed brilliant. Honestly, for his price, which is 45,000 coins, as a centre-back, he performed incredible. This dude is my third highest rating player in the team. He didn't mess up once. Three out of four tackles won. That one tackle, that was missed. I'm guessing that could have just been me mistiming it. Um, he did lose the ball once. He gave it straight back. That is a 10 out of 10 for me, guys. And, I mean, when I give a 10 out of 10, it's based on his value. 45,000 coins is brilliant, his pros and cons. Um, if you're playing him at centre-back, I would probably give this card, like, a 7.5... Left-back, sorry. Um, I'd give this card a 7.5, simply because he is just such a centre-back. So, use your custom tactics. 
or either swap him in game and uh, move his card into the centre back position because he, with his agility and balance and his low pace, he's not a fullback. He's really not a fullback. So I just really do recommend playing him as a centre back. Um, and I mean, his his role as a centre back, brilliant passing, brilliant speed 90 speed with a shadow he's insane and i mean when it comes to his performance insane once again and like yeah the only cons is his agility balance just play him at center back and center backs don't have to have good agility slash balance i mean the higher the better but not all of them have to and this card is incredible at center back and you guys could see he played incredible at center back bringing me to the final point of is he worth it a hundred percent man 100 percent he is worth it buy this card for 45k you will not regret it to make this even better um, I just bet a dude who created his account in 2015. I started playing online this year in 2019. Um, I'm a gold 2 slash gold 1 player. So it is pretty cool to come up against people in division rivals who are brilliant. When I went 2-0 down at the beginning there, I was like, oh shit. Um, but now hopefully this video did help you guys out. Definitely go buy this card. Until next time guys, I'll see you all later. Peace out lads.